This video is for a 2005 Allegro open road made by Tiffin. Just want to walk around the outside showing a lot of the unique features that this coach has. Uh, a lot of gas motors don't have some of these features, so I do want to point them out. It does have a driver's side door. This unit is also sitting on a, a workhorse chassis with an 8.1 Allison transmission. Just a great power plant on this unit. If you notice, it's got a driver's side door. Then it's got another feature right here where you've got steps that go up into the driver's side door. A lot of units just have a, just a single peg here, so I thought that was kind of a neat feature on this coach. I just wanted to point that out. The other thing is the storage. The the storage on this unit actually comes out with the slide out and if you're like me I got a bad back I don't want to crawl underneath one of these slides to get my storage out that is one long uh, bend there it looks like about 12 feet long maybe a little bit longer the other thing is this unit has a gel coat finish it gives it a nice shine real easy to clean up and, and uh, take care of for a long time again the unit does have slide toppers on it I'm just gonna walk around the exterior of this unit showing its exceptional condition there's just no dings no dents just a really nice coach you walk around the rear here it's got a spare tire hanging off the back looks good it's got a nice cover on it has a really good uh, fiberglass back end to this coach uh, rear ladder here rear camera just a beautiful exterior on this unit again I popped open a storage bin here just to show some of the storage that's not a pass through all the way through but it does go across the coach uh, in the back here so you'd certainly be able to put some card tables in there and some bigger chairs you come on the interior of this unit first thing you notice uh, the last customer put a nice grab handle here I thought that's a, a pretty good personal touch uh, so they must have had a hard time getting up and down the steps but again they put on this nice grab handle you walk on the inside, no smoke odors, no pet odors. The interior is in exceptional condition for a 2005. There's no stains on the floor, there's no wearing on the seats. The table is in good shape, there's no chops on the table. You come up to the front here, it has um, you know electric jacks. Again, workhorse chassis, The uh, I just noticed on the generator, 197 hours. Just a few unique features. You know, if you notice down there, there's a little... Uh, um, a window there for I guess so you can see out and make sure that you're not going to roll over top of somebody got a front uh, TV up front padded ceiling this is a really nice touch as opposed to that carpeted ceiling this is a padded ceiling so if you ever did have to clean it up and this one you don't have to because it didn't do any cooking in here um, it's real easy to clean up so definitely wanted to point that out you come over here to the kitchen area solid wood doors you know definitely solid wood doors three burner stove, has an oven, a lot of units they do not have ovens you've got a, uh, a microwave here, seven to eight cubic foot refrigerator don't hold me to that but it's somewhere in there you come back in the bathroom, this unit has a bathtub a lot of units today do not have bathtubs so it's kinda nice if you have a pet or a child and they need to get in there and use the bathtub that is nice. Separated toilet Okay, definitely very nice feature. You can keep your business separate from everybody else. You go in the back here, it's got a queen size bed and a nice big closet that goes out of the side. So this is a 32 foot coach with two slide outs. Definitely a lot of room inside here. Just a really great layout. Uh, a little rear TV back here. I want to make sure I point that out. So if you have any questions, and look at this floor. I'm telling you, there's no scuffs, there's no scratches, there's nothing that would deter you on this camper. It's just really a sweet camper. No odors, no smells. I think I already said that. If you have any questions, give me a call. My phone number is 888-310-7744. My internet address is www.g twrv.com and my email address is mike at gtwrv.com make sure you, when you do call please ask for Mike I'd certainly appreciate it this is how I make my living so give me a call and I'll certainly make you a great deal